Welcome back everyone. We are working on this pressure vessel for quite a few episodes already. Uh, this would be episode number 5 and we here we finally arrived to the point where we defeatured it, mid-surfaced it, set up the mesh with plate and solid elements, took care of the free edges and now we are ready to set our boundary conditions, load conditions and run an analysis on it. Okay? let's get started. First up I'm gonna set up the gravity. We did not set up gravity yet so let's set up gravity. So gravity is under model load and gravity is a body force so we're gonna go to body title let's call it gravity very good okay here uh, let's see, it needs to be acting in the negative y direction, right? So, there's a the gravity right here. Click active. In the a y, it's gonna be negative 9.81. Time frequency dependence, no. It's good. And that's it. Click OK. And if you uh, push Ctrl G to regenerate, there you go. That's your symbol right here, the orange arrow that uh, will point and show you that, yep, you were successful, you set it up. We have gravity set up. Now let's uh, do some constraints. We're going to put this tank on the ground. I'm going to fix the footing. So I'm going to go to model, constraint, on, on surface. I'm gonna this one. I'm gonna call it uh, grounding. Okay. So I'm gonna call enter surfaces to select. That would be. Would be this one. No, why are you not selecting it? Oh, because we turned them off. That, well, this one, turn it back on. Because that what we were looking at. It was just the mesh. Okay, now we have the geometry, so that one and that one. Well, move it out of the place. There you go, that one. Highlight, good. That's the one we wanted, right? Okay, and we're simply gonna fix these. Gonna call it uh, footing, foot, foot, yeah, just foot. One, two, three, because all three of them fixed okay and that's it that's all we're gonna uh, fix now let's see what else that's it so uh, we need to do we need to set up the pressure inside the tank right so that means we need to apply pressure to all these surfaces on the inside Okay, so we can't just go ahead and apply uh, uh, the load, the pressure load by control all and applying everywhere because there's a lot of surfaces that will not have pressure on, like these two flanges, the uh, lips of these openings, right? So we're going to have to go a bit more piece by piece approach on this one. So let's go ahead and model load on surface. First, um, let's see, I'm going to apply to all the openings, right? So, let's have some kind of structure. So, all the openings I'm going to do right now. And this one. This one. And we have one more at the bottom. This one. Okay. So, let's apply pressure on these. P on openings the pressure good it's selected pressure let's put 100 here everything is good okay now let's see our arrows are they pointing in the right direction or not of course not it's in the wrong direction it's pointing away from the surface so this is basically imploding not uh, having a pressure inside, having a vacuum inside, not a pressure inside. So it looks like we're gonna have to uh, 
put it as negative values because uh, this all depends on how the software automatically sets up the uh, surface normals for each surface right and it looks like he understands uh, the first surface normals the other way so when we apply a negative pressure it will point towards the surfaces and all of them pointing inwards which is good that means we can we don't have to select them in different groups we can just go ahead and edit this one cancel that out this one go ahead and edit and all we have to do is throw a negative in here okay okay control G and there you go now we have pressure pointing out good now there's extra pressure inside the tank that's pushing on the surfaces right good okay next one I'm gonna do maybe all the walls of the pipes okay so mesh the mesh model load on surface I'm gonna pick this one and this one I'm gonna pick this one and this one this and this this and this a lot of time it's easier to detect problems if you do it in a systematic way this and this and you actually name things because uh, then when problems appear the clues that the software gives might actually help you figure out what's what but let's hope no problems this pressure on pipe walls make sure pressure selected let's go negative 100 okay and let's double check yep 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 pointing outwards okay good 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 up here everything pointing outwards yep very good let's do another check up here it's easier to do checks right now than when everything is displayed and there's a bunch of arrows everywhere good all right so now we did everything except the main body of the tank right so let's apply the pressure on that make sure we select all its components right you don't want uh, one surface missing so model load on surface so let's do this one this one and this one that takes care of the top and this one and this one is the side and this this and this is the bottom highlight double check make sure nothing is forgotten cool okay P on tank wall walls pressure and again minus 100 okay bam let's double check nice arrows everywhere pointing outwards outwards on on every surface good 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 at the bottom everything outwards very good all right so our loads our constraints gravity everything was nicely set up now we have arrived to the point where we can run our analysis we set up everything so let's go ahead and uh, go to model analysis new this one let's call it one static analysis okay everything as is fine and click analyze let the solver do its thing
and complete. Good news, no error messages. That means we successfully completed our analysis. Woohoo! Good. It's uh, time for champagne. Every time you don't get a fatal error, you need to celebrate. Very good. 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 I'm gonna say it again. Good. Alright, enough monkey business. <laughs> so, let's uh, visualize something. Go to model. No model. View. View and uh, select. Uh, go deform, beam diagram, deform and contour data and uh, plate top oh okay well the one Mises for plates could do that one let's see okay come on zero three three yeah and then after that we'll come back and maybe we'll visualize the one in the legs let's see this is the deformed. Oh boy! Wow! Look at the bottom. Remember that vi this visualization—it always happens uh, ten times reality automatically. Okay? If you want to change it, you need to change it. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is what I wanted. This one. So we can see the values. One misses stress. Let's take a look at what we see well that's the most extreme right red and the smallest on the sides let's see oh over here at the at the inlets and outlets we can see some action happening let's see at the top mm -hmm, mm -hmm. same same let's see the small inlets and outlets good good uh, less of a action okay let's take a look at uh, f5 and this one let's see uh, da -da 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 -da. solid one Mises let's see that one good okay okay let's go let's go let's go Ooh, let's see this one Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Interesting. Look at all the... Oh, look at this. This one is uh, getting a workout right here. All right. There you go. Here's a little analysis for ya. And I believe this would kind of uh, conclude our tutorial, right? Or we could run another analysis. Let's see what would happen if this uh, tank would be hanging from these uh, flanges, right? Let's see how would that look. Okay, for this one let's imagine a crane is lifting it up, right, while it's being delivered from these two flanges. And maybe another rope holding it so it won't uh, spin or rotate or something. So, in this case, we would not have pressure inside it, so let's cancel those ones out. Go to load, gravity stays. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this, this, and this. These three pressures, uh, since uh, it's hanging from the hooks, there's no constraints on the footing. It's not touching the ground. Delete that one, but we do have constraints up here. So let's apply some constraints up here. A model. Did I constraints on curve? You know, apply it on this curve, that curve, and you know, be this curve and that curve. Okay, it's gonna be fixed uh, flange. Fixed. Okay. And maybe let's apply another to this one and its body. We're gonna apply a no rotation to it. So just in case if it doesn't understand it, make sure that we are not rotating. This is just a translational business. 
Okay, and uh, the material, since we want to check for gravity, did we enter? Maybe it would have been beneficial to put in mass density, right? So let's see, aluminum is 2700. Okay, save and let's do the analysis. Analysis, new, number two. Static, okay, analyze. Let's see, hopefully no errors. And we can, yep, complete. Okay, and let's visualize how, uh, let's see, F5, deform, beam diagram, deform, uh, not the solid, but the plate von Mises. Okay, okay, there you go. Let's click on the this one. There you have it. We can see the... Th why do we still have this one? Oh, did we... On F5. Uh-huh. Oh, no. well, there you go. I'm like, oh, that looks so strange. Okay, so we have two analyses here. So it's output sets. From which set do we want to visualize? I want it from the second one now, right? Okay. There you go. My goodness, I'm like, man, that looks strange. Why it looks exactly the same like the previous one? But there you go. Wow, okay, now I see we can tell that where the business is happening, right? It much more matches uh, our engineering intuition. And there should be no Boeing here. There's absolutely no more pressure inside, so there's no reason for it to be popping open. And here, that's just the weight. Let's see the little ones. All good. This one shouldn't be bowing out either. All right, this concludes our pressure vessel tutorial. We got to the end of the series. Hopefully you guys learned something. Make sure you tune in for the next uh, tutorial, whatever that's going to be. And... Uh, Please make sure you like and subscribe, have a great one and see you around.